guys. <laughs> So today I thought I would test out a brand new foundation. I mean, it's kind of a new foundation. I currently have it on my face. The only problem is I didn't realize this as I was filming. It's very bright and you probably can't see it on my face, but it is on my face. So the foundation that I am testing today is the Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. I got the light is shade but I'll show you about that in a little while. Um, I've had a lot of issues finding the perfect foundation for me and the, I want to show you a couple of the ones that I've been testing recently that just haven't been good for me at all. Okay so the first two that I was trying were recommendations. This one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour coverage in the shade True Ivory. As you can see this is a bit too dark for me and was very orange toned so this did not work for me at all. Soph Does Nails recommended this and I thought she's pale why not? But then I forgot I have a cool tone undertone. I have a cool undertone where I think she has like a warm undertone. Um, because I think I'm more pink um, and she's more yellow. Um, the second one was recommended to me by Joanne. You may know her. Um, she does YouTube as well. A lot of videos. Um, <laughs> like me. Um, yeah. And this was the uh True Match L'Oreal True Match in the shade. 1N again too dark for me although it probably doesn't look as bad on camera um, but again she's warm she's more warm toned and I'm cool toned so she recommended the 1C but when I looked at it and the bottle that still looked too dark um, the next that I have been trying and loving by the way is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour in the shade Porcelain. As you can see from the bottle, it's pretty much gone, which is why I needed a good um, foundation, which is why I got this one. Um, I've been using this as well as uh, the next one that I'm gonna show you. This has been my holy grail at the moment. Uh, but it's very good coverage, very full coverage, which is what I like. The next that I was trying out was the Rimmel Lasting Breathable Finish 25 hours. I don't mind this. This is a very light coverage. So if you like a full coverage or a medium coverage, this is not for you. However, I do wear this pretty much every single day for work. Although recently I had a little bit of a breakout. So I have gone back to my L'Oreal. But however, I have been loving this. The only problem that I have with this is one that it isn't the best coverage. And two, it's a doe foot applicator. And I was like, this is not very hygienic. So I wanted a different one. This is fine when I'm going to like work and stuff. However, I did want to try out the Makeup Revolution. Anyway, I've babbled on for so long. If you want to see how I found the foundation, just keep watching. I really hope I'm in focus. Okay, so, so this is the foundation stick. Obviously you will know this because this is not exactly a brand new video. This is very bright. I may have to switch locations. Um, but anyway, this is the packaging. I will do. So this is the packaging, and it is in shade F1. I have already done a swatch, and it looks like it's going to be an okay match for me. It's the palest. It's it's this or nothing. Um, and then obviously you just. Ah, oh, that. Oh my God, you get a lot from that. To be quite fair, that is good amount. So first things first. Need to put my headband on, Dona. I'm gonna zoom you in, but just to let you know, I'm gonna do half with my foundation brush. And I'm a changed woman, guys. Half with the blending brush. I did remember to damp it this time. After I did my makeup lessons with Broga, I think it was the first one, so many of you comment being like, did you wet it first? And I was like, no. Didn't realize you had to do that. Um, I'm. This is the second time I'm using it. The first time didn't go so well, but I think that was the foundation. So let's just zoom you in and get started. I don't know how much to put on my face. I'm also not going to use you as a use the viewfinder this time. So, like, I don't know how much to use, but it does look like it's a good match. I'm just going to do that for now, but this side is going to be, this side is going to be my brush, so let's just kind of see how this goes. It is very difficult to kind of blend with a brush, 
but I am really liking that can't really see it on camera but I am really liking that finish wow and it's even better because it doesn't look orange at all which is great for me I'm also very scared that part of my other foundation that's on this brush is coming off I didn't really think this through I just wanted to film it I just literally got home and was like I want to try it okay so I'm going to try with the other side with a blending brush sponge thing and see what happens I think that's about the same oh oh honey no now remember I'm new to blending sponges so don't yell at me if I'm doing it wrong because I most likely am Okay, see, I just don't get it. It's damp, and it ain't doing anything. I don't, I don't get it. Ooh, that's right. I don't know if you can see that. That has really sunk into my, like, paws. Which I don't appreciate, by the way. So this just doesn't seem to want to blend for me I meant to like do it like that everyone else dabs it I don't understand I don't right that wasn't a fair true test so I'm just gonna do the whole thing with this with a brush Joanne I'm filming. Not something I say often. <laughs> what the heck? Let me zoom in. Where did that come from? That is on my brush somewhere. Uh. Ow. I just really like doof 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 that. A bit like EastEnders. So what I was gonna say before that happened is I really like <sighs> hair everywhere. How that looks on my face. It's got quite like a a glowy look. Obviously, it makes me it makes me look a little bit like a wax figure. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've never said this because I'm not a beauty vlogger, but I do watch a lot of Soph Does Nails. So I just thought I'd let you know, I kind of have like dry to combination skin, I guess. Um, I don't know, like I have an oily T-zone, but apart from that, I think that's it. So it's mainly dry because I do have a lot of dry patches. Um, but that, does that match? Looks all right. I mean, I mean, it looks like it could be a little bit orange, but I just, I'm, I just, I can't win. So, I'm going to try and zoom in and show you guys, but I'm not a vlogger, so. Can you see? This is, it looks like it's a little bit dark, but that is fine. This is what it looks like actually on my skin. I don't know what this is, by the way. I've had this for years. Um, it does look like it's blended out okay. There we go. Okay, so let me have another look. I mean, it definitely looks like it matches. I'm happy with that. But what I'm going to do is the rest of my face now and just kind of see how it sits with that. And this is the end result. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this foundation. What is that? Um, I feel like even if it is a little bit darker, it's not that noticeable. I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, I really like the way it sits on my face. It still has like a quite glowy tint to it. I feel like you can't really see it in this light. But I can't turn you down. Um, 
if you want to know any products that I am using on my face, I will link them below. Um, I'm not really sure about this lip. This is a very old lip. Um, I'll tell you this now. It's Rimmel Vintage Pink and it's a moisture one. Um, I'm not really sure on it, uh, but the other one before was way too bright and now I've kind of gone way too dark. Um, but yeah, I can't really fault it. It gives like a quite... Br for me, it's quite dark, which obviously you can't see because it's bright as hell. See if you... no. I mean, you can't see just because of obviously the camera's not picking it up great. Um, I really need like a decent filming space um, if I ever film. Uh, but yeah, overall, I do like it. It gives me quite like a, a slight tinge of a bronze look. Uh, but yeah, again, you you really can't see that. But it does look like it's matching my neck quite well. Um, so I I cannot complain at all. If you liked this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I upload whenever. Um, I am going to Ireland on the 20th of April, so I'll be vlogging. A big ass vlog will be coming to you on the Monday, which is Monday the 23rd of April for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here, and if you want me to test anything else, especially drugstore, I love doing drugstore, leave a comment below and I will look into it and possibly do it. And if I don't do it on my channel, it will be on my blog, which is just brokenugent.co.uk, so check that out. And thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon. <laughs> Bye!